You might have seen our video about the story of life, where it started from Lucy the Australopithecus until we get to Nandi and the Homo sapien, where the modern human is born. But do you think evolution has stopped evolving and it's not going to continue? We have to say that's not the case, because evolution is always happening. But to actually see the changes, we need an extremely long time. We really can't tell how we will evolve in the future, because it needs thousands of years. But we can see small differences, and at the maximum around 1000 years. In this video, we want to see what kind of changes humans grow in 1000 years, and how a human will look like in the year 3023. Since the day humans have figured themselves out, they always try to predict the future. One of the reasons ancient Egyptians mummified dead bodies was that they believed in the future and they wanted to send their dead into the future. A lot of them did make it to the future, but in a mummified form. Ancient Egyptians weren't the only people that wanted to figure out the future. A lot of civilizations were thinking about this and they were trying to figure it out as well. But the more advanced we get and the more we move forward, we have more interesting guesses on what will happen in the near future. Like in the 1950s, there was an interesting prediction in the US that humans by the year 2000 will work with the screen all day every day and they will do everything they need in that screen. Back then, people wouldn't believe that something like this will exist, but it really did happen. It didn't happen exactly in the year 2000, but it was very close. Another interesting prediction in the 1950s is that the cars in the 2000s will all fly. In the year 2023, we do have flying car, but it's not very common and it's extremely expensive to get something like this. So this prediction is completely wrong. We will get to it, but not this early. Everybody knows this movie. If you don't know, in the year 1985, an amazing movie came out called Back to the Future. This movie showed that in the year 2015, not only will we have flying cars, but we will have hoverboards as well. Unfortunately, this wasn't right either. Let's continue. These were just predictions. And we want to predict what will happen in 1000 years on Earth. Right now, there is a lot of people that want to go to other planets. And the most famous company that wants to do it is SpaceX. SpaceX has a plan to send 1 million humans on Mars by the year 2050. And we've made a video about this before. So if there's a prediction that we will have this many people on Mars by the year 2050, so in 1000 years, people will be living on Mars. As you know, Mars doesn't have a proper atmosphere and scientists are always trying to figure out a way on how we can make an atmosphere. But the atmosphere to be built for this planet doesn't take 100, 200 or 1000 years. It needs much longer than that. But we can be hopeful that on Mars we can build cities that has glass dome everywhere. But what we're saying is the knowledge we have today. Because we don't know in 1000 years what will people figure out. What kind of technology they will invent. And they might be able to create an atmosphere in a much shorter period of time. Another planet that could have humans reside there is Venus. But on Venus it's extremely hot. But, but scientists believe that you could live on the clouds of this planet. And it's funny because this was predicted by NASA themselves. So until the year 3023, it's 3-0 because humans will be living on three different planets. And when humans are in three different points in space, the chances of us going extinct is very low. If we are in only one spot, there might be a disaster and humans become extinct. But if there is three planets, the chances of an impact or extinction is much lower.
Right now we're living on a planet that we really don't take care of, even though it's the greatest planet that we've ever discovered in the world. If we don't make this planet any worse or try to make it a little bit better, we shouldn't have any problems for the next 1000 years. These are all guesses. There is no Mars or Venus guaranteed. Right now we have Earth that we can at least count on it for the next 1000 years. Scientists say that in 110 years, we will run out of fossil fuels, but I wouldn't really count on these predictions because they always swap these numbers around because there's always new fossil fuel being discovered. And usually the number of years always goes higher. But either way, in 1000 years, there most likely won't be fossil fuels. And scientists say windmills and solar will be the number one source of energy, especially solar. But this is not the case that there won't be pollution because of energy. Even solar panels, producing them, using them, and getting rid of them causes a lot of pollution. So we really can't say that we won't have pollution in 1000 years. The main reason is that people are greedy and they always want to profit from one another. And because of this greed, we really can't live in peace. One of the most scary and dangerous things that could happen in the future is artificial intelligence. And we're just in the beginning and a lot of people are scared of ChatGPT, the newest AI. You guys already know ChatGPT. Any question you ask, it will give an answer. We're slowly moving towards a scarier prediction for the future. Engineers believe that by the year 2050, computers will be much smarter than humor and anything you tell it, it will do it much faster and better than any human. In this case, humans will lose faith and they can't do anything about it anymore. That is why another prediction says there could be artificial intelligence chips put in other humans' brains. And basically, we're not really humans anymore after this. We're half computer and half alive. Something good that will happen is that it will help disabled people, like people that suffer from blindness, people that are deaf, or folks that are paralyzed. But we're just getting to the scarier part. When people are mixed with computers, and there are evil people all over the world, and these people can hack people's brains. In this case, it gets very dangerous and scary. Let's say everything goes well, artificial intelligence is mixed with a human brain, and everything is automatic. Humans are living an easy life, and anything they need is in front of them. But this is when evolution takes a huge hit. These people's brain won't go towards getting better, and they might slowly get dumber and dumber, because all the work is being done by the AI, and the human doesn't have to try anymore or try to think. This causes the human to become slower and dumber. And this is when we can say, the power is in the AI's hands now. All the things we told you is possible in the next 1000 years, but we don't know how it's possible. Will humans figure out the correct method and make life better and more enjoyable? Or will they create a hell that has a bunch of stupid people and AI is king of all?